Kingsford Smith and Charles Arm flew this aircraft in the late 20s, um, very much around the time when our, our, our organisation was born. This is obviously a marquee aircraft uh, for Australian aviation um, and for Air Services Australia it's obviously with great uh, pleasure and pride that we're um, now involved in the restoration project. This aircraft, as you say, is a full-size flying replica of the Southern Cross, which is housed in Brisbane. Uh, this one was built in uh, the 1980s in South Australia. It was uh, flying one day and unfortunately the right main wheel became separated. And uh, the pilots looked out the window, saw the wheel dangling and thought, this is going to make landing very interesting, but they did a fantastic job. Uh, brought it down, no one was injured. There was a slight bit of damage to the uh, right wing. This far in, right out to the tip, we've had to renew the spars. They're now attached to the uh, rest of the wing. We're repairing a lot of the uh, original spars that were used and we'll reuse those again. But they're just cleaning them all up, making sure they're all okay and uh, getting them ready to install onto the uh, newly manufactured spars. This is a challenge to all of us actually, because largely because of the wood. The, the fuselage itself is sort of steel and, and fabric, that's not too hard, but the wood is quite a challenge. The wood is something that, that is way back in our uh, training and uh, we haven't had a lot of experience with it. The rib repair you saw going on today, that's just fairly routine, fiddly sort of work, a bit like a large model aircraft. And we're hoping the plywood skinning goes fairly well. And after that it's just a matter of all putting it together. Time is not important to us, safety is important. We want to make sure it's done right, right the first time. Uh, we measure 20 times and cut once if you like. Uh, but you have all the experience you like, it doesn't go far without money. And uh, every project you see around here in the, the Haas hangar takes a lot of money to fly. Uh, even the insurance for this, whilst it's not flying in its restoration period, is 4400 a year. So there's, there's money needed everywhere and unfortunately Air Services Australia has come on board as a, a good sponsor and uh, they've recently just given us $30,000 towards this project. So hopefully that will go a long way to helping us getting it back in the air.